Now we talk a little bit about this is a very beautiful topic. What's this Laylatul Qadr? What is Qadr? You know, Layla, okay, night. Night. But what is Qadr? Commonly, Qadr is translated as the night of power. The night of power. And most of the time, in an English translation, it's not fully appreciated what exactly does it mean that Allah calls it Laylatul Qadr. We'll read some of the scholarly commentary on this, which is actually, I found it extremely beautiful. قِيلَ سُمِّيَتْ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ يُقَدِّرُ فِيهَا مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ إِلَى السَّنَةِ إِلَى السَّنَةِ الْقَابِلَةِ The first thing, this is found in a hadith, this is found in many athar of the Sahaba. The gist of it is, it is called Laylatul Qadr because the word Qadr means estimation, determination also. Determination. Allah Azza wa Jal Himself, you know He is, وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ Qadir, same root, same root. Allah has estimate and control over everything. But you know how there's a, a 30 year plan or a million year plan, but then there's a year's budget, right? Or the actions that need to be taken for that year. Allah knows everything already, but He lets His angels know of what the plan is for this year. What is, what is Allah decreed for the people for this year? He informs the angels of that in this night. So for that year, the, basically the execution of Allah's plan is dedicate or, or is delivered to the angels in Laylatul Qadr. That's the first thing for that next year. وَقِيلَ إِنَّهَا سُمِّيَتْ بِذَلِكْ لِعَظِيمِ قَدْرِهَا وَشَرْفِهَا This is the other thing. Qadr not just means estimation, calculation, precision. It also means honor, nobility, dignity. So it's called the night of great dignity and nobility also because of its great nobility. Then, كذا and Zahri calls it that too. وَقِيلَ سُمِّيَتْ بِذَلِكْ لِأَنَّ لِلطَّاعَاتِ فِيهَا قَدْرًا عَظِيمًا This is beautiful. And it's called the night of appreciation. Qadr is also to appreciate. And it says that the Mufassirun say, it's called this night because in this night when people obey Allah, Allah really appreciates it. That the, this is the night of Allah appreciating the worship of and the ibadah of His slave. And obviously, so appreciated it is that He counts this one night's worship as how many? A thousand months, right? So a thousand, alf, khayrun min alf, better more than a thousand months. So it's not even, it is a thousand months, it is better than a thousand months. So he went even further than a thousand months, subhanAllah. Then finally, وَقِيلَ الْخَلِيلِ سُمِّيَتْ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لِأَنَّ الْأَرْضِ تَضِيقُ فِيهَا بِالْمَلَائِكَةِ The word Qadr in Arabic has one more meaning that's also used in the Qur'an, and that is constriction, congestion, to be stuck in something. So Allah Azza wa Jal, for example, in Surah Al-Talaq, He says, وَمَنْ قُدِرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقُهُ Whoever his provision became tight on him, meaning their budget became tight. Right? We also read in Juz Amma before, وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقُهُ Right? Uh, whoever we test and we take his risk and we make it tight. Their budget becomes constrained. They don't have as loose an opportunity to spend cash anymore. It becomes restrictive on them. So this tightness, liq, is also part of the meaning of Qadr. And it's called that also, that meaning is injected in it also, because so many angels descend on the earth that the space becomes tight, subhanAllah. All of these meanings of the nobility of the night, the decree of the night, also Qadr means power also, so the power of the night, then the tightness because of the descent of all those angels, all of these meanings are embedded in one word. Now if you take any of these, any alternatives of Qadr, if you say Laylat al-Sharf, the night of nobility, then all the other meanings are gone. If you say the night of you know, power, then all the other meanings are gone. But Allah Azza wa Jal picked the perfect word which captures all these beautiful implications all at the same time without compromising the integrity of, of uh, the meaning, subhanAllah.